Hi guys, welcome to Meet the Weltmeer. It's Mike here again. I'm Product Manager at BA Schneider Group. Here in Meet the Weltmeer, we work together to propound solutions to the everyday challenges confronting piping and design engineers, purchases, maintenance guys, and HSE engineers. This is made possible by our team of experts with many years of experience in the field of instrumentation and double block and bleed valves. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the different fire safety techniques so that at the end of this video, you will be able to make an informed decision on the best fire safety technique to choose from, whether it is fire safe approved or fire safe by design. But just before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get notified of all interesting videos. Ready to get informed? Let's get it rolling. So you're looking forward to purchasing some vaults that need to be fire safe, but don't know whether it's best to go with fire safe approved or fire safe by design? Hold on a bit, let's decide this together. With the increased number of fire safe valves in the marketplace, sometimes it can be overwhelming deciding which fire safe valve to go with. So before you begin to think about which valve to buy, there are some factors you need to put into consideration, which I'm going to share with you in this video. I recognize a lot of people are talking about the fire safe by design. When I came across the word for the first time, I thought about what this could possibly mean. Could it just be another metal-to-metal -metal sealing, graphite sealing or graphite packing? Well, the word fire safe by design has been widely used and to the best of my knowledge, there is no common or firm description or rules limiting or qualifying the use of this concept. To better understand what these two concepts are all about, it may interest you to know that fire safe approved valves are tested and trusted based on the approved standards of ISO 10497, BS 6755-2 or API 6FA and certified by a testing organization like the German TÜV. Fire safe design valves are only designed to be fire safe with no certificate. To explain this further, I will quickly walk you through a scale of three levels of fire safe valves. Let's go. The first one is the so-called top level. These type of valves are fire safe tested and approved within the qualification range of these standards API 607, API 6FA and ISO 10497. This means it has been pressurized, set on the fire at a defined temperature and duration and after stopping the fire supply the valve has been shock cooled and the leakage is below a given limit. The second one is the so-called mid-level. Though similar to the top level fire safe valve, the mid level valve itself has not been tested. Even though it is not tested and approved, a very similar valve has been tested and approved. For example, this could mean there are differences in body or sealing materials. Mid level fire safe by design valves are occasionally not tested and approved for economical or time consuming reasons or because the standards do not include the sizes or pressure classes. So it's up to the customer and the end user to accept this argumentation or not. The last one is the so-called low level. This category of valve design has not been tested and has a large deviation in design in comparison to an approved one. An example is the floating bubble valve. As such, there is a big risk when accepting the low level fire safe design especially when no tests have been done at all. Now let me share a personal experience with you. We had a terrible experience during the fire safe test of our DVB monoflanges, which consist of the valve body and three needle valves for isolating and venting the medium. Each valve we developed was tested extensively in our tech center to be sure that all requirements of our customers are met. And in the case of fire safe approval, we do pre-tests in our fire safe test rig before we order a third party for witnessing. As such, for the monoflange approval, we were very confident that we will pass the test at the first trial because we only use metal to metal sealing and graphite packing. Unfortunately, there was a great surprise. The valve seat was leaking during the heating period. The reason for that was that the valve tip was lifting from the valve seat 
as the parts directly exposed to the flames, expanding it faster than the parts inside the valve, just then a tip. Although all parts are made of the same material with the same thermal expansion coefficient, there was a difference in the increase of length for different parts. So in the picture that appears now, you can see our solution. Our solution then was to use a special spring-loaded design to compensate the different thermal expansion and to keep the valve tip pressed into the valve seat, which is now the standard for OZY head units. As a positive side effect, the spring-loaded design also provides a live loading to the packing which ensures tightness during non-critical operating conditions. We really couldn't let off OSNY since that incident. And we didn't only install the OSNY head unit onto our monoflange, but also use it as a vent valve on our DDB Tower series. So you see we could spend hours talking about ball valves and pressure tests in this video. But honestly, what would our life be without valves? Go back to the Stone Age. Well, I'll leave that for you to decide. Yep, and that's it on the list. Are you convinced now with which fire safe valve you want to go with? Let's hear your thought in the comment section below and we will advise you individually. And if you found this video to be helpful, please click the like button and share with your friends. And in the meantime, stay in touch with us here on YouTube as well as on Facebook, Instagram or LinkedIn. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, I remain Michael, your valve nerd. Bye for now.